I'm out here in JFK getting ready to get on my flight for this Spartan race. It really snuck up on me. It's not something that I have had my usual level of preparation for. I might not feel quite as confident as usual, but again, in those situations where I'm an underdog or I'm not in top form, those are the times when I tend to shine because I like exceeding expectations, challenging my limits, and doing more than I thought I could do. again I thought I could never do one of these races so just never say never always believe in yourself and you can always accomplish anything that you want in life I truly 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 believe that dig for the weekend we going in we going in Typically, pre-race day, I used to wait, save off the celebrations because I was really nervous. I'm not necessarily celebrating, let's say, but I am relaxing today, getting something to eat. We're out here, man. What's up, all? I'm sitting here about an hour before the race, and I feel really relaxed. I mean, I've done these so many times. It's been a little while, so... I don't necessarily know if I'm going to be in top peak condition, but I'm excited nonetheless. I've, I've done them before. I know that I have the ability, the will, the strength to get through any obstacle that life throws at me. So that makes me confident in these scenarios. What's going on, people? Ready to make a movie today. Ready to make a movie today. Gonna be headed out to the race site right now. It's about a 30 minute drive. We're gonna blast some music and then we're gonna get down to business. Doing what I do best. Objects like fear are just an illusion. Out here, we out here. About to get this done. You guys are doing great. Beautiful views though. Beautiful views. We've got about a half a mile to go. Good job, now drag back. A little more. Perfect. Oh, come on. You got this shit, brother. Come on. Right, there you go, round. There you go. There you go. I'm on there. I'm on there. Good stuff. Gentlemen, black bags, ladies, red bags. Come on, man, you're almost there. Give me two more pulls. Give me one hard pull. You're good. Let her down slow. If it slams, you do burpees. Gentlemen, black bags. Black.
Good shit, halfway no problem. You got this. Oh yeah, you're good. Running, running, and running, running. Running, running, and running, running. Too much running, man. I'm ready to stop. One thing about these out of state races is that half of the race is all this thick grass that we have to run through. Check that out. This is not cool. I'm out here in beautiful Palm Beach, Florida. I just completed Spartan Race. It's the first one that I've done since 2019. The reason that I'm out here in Palm Beach, this was not the original plan. I was signed up for, for City Field in New York, in Queens, New York, to do that Spartan Race. It got canceled due to COVID, then it got rescheduled, canceled again, and canceled for a third time. So they said that we can transfer the race credit to any race. I decided two birds with one stone. It gives me a little bit of a vacation because I work really hard and I don't really take too many vacations. It, and also it gives me a new course, a new chance to challenge and test myself, push myself to the limits. It was a pretty standard Spartan. I really enjoyed it. It was hard. As I was saying during the race, the difference between these races in the South versus ours in New York are that we get a lot of concrete to run on and they're obstacle heavy. These ones are very terrain heavy. We have to run through the woods and go through the water and all these different cardio and physical type of terrains that make up a big part of the race. So that makes it hard on your endurance. But I love the new challenge anyways. I'm so glad that I got through it and it's off to get some to eat, shower, relax. What's up y'all? This is my last day in beautiful Palm Beach, Florida. I left with what I came here for. Like I said, I completed the mission. I love these things, I love these medals. But a medal is just a, an object at the end of the day. What I really love the most is the feeling of satisfaction that I get from these things, overcoming fears, pushing past doubts, reaching obstacles that look like they are unattainable and being like, the only way out is through. That's what I get out of these, that's why I love them. That's why I continue to do them, and that's why I want to do them as long as I can. Back here at the spot two days later, richer for the experience. I'm very happy and satisfied and pleased and tired and sore, but I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I stepped out of my comfort zone, pushed through the fear, pushed past the pain back here in New York and until the next journey. and mental health.